Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose and it's hard to believe that another month has just passed by and I'm about to show you what my May classroom looks like. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a childcare provider for up to five children and on my channel you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping hauls and the odd family vlog. This month we're learning all about seeds and plants and trees and flowers and so let me just show you what our classroom looks like. So to the right is our writing center and this month I put flower play-doh toys out and I put some different sized cookie cutters. The children can experiment with size as well as some green popsicle sticks, some little felt pieces for leaves and then some rolling pins and then some spring colored play-doh and then at the top here I just added some markers and some little flower notebooks as well as a ring with theme related words on it. So this one's back to the basics, but I think the children will be excited to explore it on Monday. Over in my science center, I added some plant posters so the children can see the parts of a flowering plant and, and what things look like inside the dirt. And for now, I've just taken out the things that we're going to be using this month. We're going to be doing a lot of our own experiments with growing seeds. And so I just took out some materials. So we're going to be using this root cellar, a watering can, some soil, some seeds, some pots. And these little rulers are going to be for the children to be able to chart their growth. I put out some seeds in little jars for the children to explore the sizes of seeds. And then I also put out the sequence of a plant. And then I also put out a little greenhouse. There's some fun little puzzles. I haven't decided where I'm going to put these yet because I believe this table is gonna be very full. But here I just have the order in which things grow. So we have a nut, a sapling, and then a tree. And then we also have seed, sprout, and flower. So this is a great visual for the children and they're self-correcting little puzzles. And I also love that it just builds on the children's vocabulary with different words that they may not have seen before like sapling and sprout. Over on our first shelf, we have a book on top, a field of sunflowers. And then I have this fun little puzzle with a tree and different flowers on it. And underneath here, I have a little Montessori type puzzle that explores sizes and shades of color. And then over here, I have another Montessori type puzzle that has the different pieces of a tree. I love that it takes out the entire root system so the children can really see the different parts of the tree. And then I have a smaller one for younger children with different theme related pieces and then I have this older Melissa and Doug one. In this basket I have a green toy that the children can build their own flower gardens and it's a really great spring building toy so the children can just be creative and make their own flower gardens and it's great practicing fine motor they can be super creative and make it however they wish and It's a super, super fun toy. And on the bottom shelf here, I have a self-correcting cow puzzle and the children are gonna put the cows in order, starting with one and moving their way all the way to number 10. It's also in rainbow order, which is kind of fun. I'm not sure how my children will do with this because there's, no, there's nothing on the back to help them identify the numbers. Not all my children know their numbers one to 10 yet. So I might need to put out a prompt um, or a number line out for them to follow to complete this puzzle. Over here on my second shelf, I have a copy of the tiny seed. I took out the calico critter house as well as the little calico critter 
tree house. And then I just put out some of the little critters. I let my daycare children choose them this time. I have a lot of different families, so I asked the children which ones they wanted to take out and they chose the fox and the little koala family. And I have a truck lover in my daycare and he absolutely plays with them every day. And when I was putting away the garbage truck, I definitely needed to look for some new trucks for him. So we chose a cement mixer and a dump truck. And both of these are made by Green Toys as well. And then over here, here I have a little depot set and it's all garden related. So you'll see that some of the pieces have some different vegetables growing. So there's some potatoes here a stem and some leaves, here's some carrots, a sunflower, there's a little wheelbarrow, some sun and clouds, a dirt pile, a watering can and some bumblebees. So you can see that this is a really fun spring Duplo set. Over in my circle time and reading nook, I put out some new pictures for them to look at. Since Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday, I put out a basket of Mother's Day books and I have this cute little copy of Are You My Mother? And then I also have the other copy as well. And then I have the Runaway Bunny, Love You Forever, Just Me and My Mom, Celebrating Mother's Day, We're Making Breakfast for Mother, Mama's Day Surprise, Are You My Mommy? and The Mummy Book by Todd Parr. So these are some of my favorite Mother's Day stories. So I thought it would be fun to read them this week leading up to Mother's Day. So here's the new books for the month of May. If you're like me, sometimes you struggle with how you're gonna set up the classroom. For this month, I had two different areas that were sort of dramatic play and I wasn't sure how I was going to fit this all into my classroom. And so I ended up using my block center for a flower shop this month. So let me show you what I did. So this will be the front of the shop and the children are gonna help me decorate it. So it's very plain right now. Over in the block area is how I've set it all up for the shop. At the very top, I have a fake plant, a watering can, a little sign with some little fake plants and then these adorable little flower and garden cans. The next shelf, I just have some gardening tools, so different shovels and some hoses. And then I have some gardening gloves, some seeds. And what's fun about this is, I can't remember where I got this idea from. I just laminated some seed packages with an envelope so the children can buy their seeds and then Put them in here so, so for the green beans they can put some green seeds and for the little flowers they can put some purple and pink seeds and so on and so forth so here's the little seed packages back here and then i also put out some different sized pots so this is a great way for them to talk about different sizes and also some nesting burlap ones here and then i also included some of these larger planters for them to play with and then I picked this up at a garage sale one time and I thought that would be a perfect prop for a little flower shop. And then over here, I just turned around my toy basket and I put in all the different flowers that we have for our flower shop. And I also added some new flower pictures. And then on this side of the flower stand, we have a little, little counter here and some drawers. And so I added, I added some little bags for the purchases. I also grabbed some tissue paper in case somebody buys some flowers, they can wrap up the flowers. And then I also added some little cards. Sometimes when people give flowers out, there's a particular occasion. So I thought they might wanna have some cards for it as well. And then over in my dramatic play area, I just, I just got these t-shirts from the dollar store a couple years ago and then I bought a bunch of little sun hats also from the Dollar Tree and then some little Crocs. I always like to choose different sizes and different colors to help the children use more descriptive language. And then over here 
is another little dramatic play area where I've set up a little garden. So for here, I just added some spade shovels and some kneeling pads, all from the Dollar Tree. This is our outside wheelbarrow, so I just brought it in for this month. And then a little garden. And for this is just actually pieces of brown felt. And then I just put some of our plastic food on top. So it was so easy to set up. I also got this sign at the Dollar Tree. It's super cute. And I always find it's amazing how much the children are noticing the letters. So it's a great reminder to have a literacy rich environment. The kitchen area this, the kitchen area this month is super simple. Again, I just added a couple of books, Plant a Seed, Eating the Alphabet and Yummy Colors. In this basket, I just put vegetables that are typically grown in gardens. Then I also put out the Melissa and Doug chopping set. Um, also things that you might find in a garden. And then I added a little chopping block over here on our countertop. And then over here, I put out the Melissa and Doug stir fry set. And I thought this would also be a really great way to show the children how we grow the vegetables that we eat. So if you have any ideas you wanna share with me, hop on over to my Instagram account called Playing With A Purpose. I love that as educators, we can all come together and share our ideas and help each other learn and grow. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.